I got the collar to 108 complete with my unintentional relief <laughs> on that area there anyway I've got to take this uh, boss down to just a half hour of a f uh, 0.5 I'm just going to take tiny cuts and check measurements You'll notice that was what we might call a dust cut. And uh, didn't take much off, but I'm not looking for much at this stage. And that area is going to probably get a final polish. I've got two thou to go, so we'll cut another thou and then leave it at that for a final polish. Well, that, there was one thou on the dial, but that wasn't a thou cut. I just check it again when you get to this stage of trying to get the final thou or half thou it's just you've got to go slow yeah we've still got to take a little bit more off that I think there must have been a smidgen of backlash in the uh, cross slide I see what we got to make sure Right, one more light cut, and that should do it. No, it's still. I'll have to go in underneath to check this. It's unre unreliable because I'm everything's in my way. I've got to get these uh, mic jaws dead square. All right. Let's try a final. another dust cut and uh, let's see what we got now right one more of those and the rest will be down to polishing Be so close now that I can finish because I was aiming for 5005. We're now on 501, so that half thou I'm going to take off with polishing later. <coughs> I want that to be accurate, that area. I've just got to reduce that down in width now. And other people may have different ways of doing this, but. Uh, I've got a sharpie mark here which is my first limit and I can get down to that fairly quickly we've got the cross slide uh, distance stop in place which I, <laughs> I forgot there oh that's so silly it's not going to affect function at all so we'll come back to the sharpie and uh, get rid of that material 
and then we can do the final cut to get the accurate distance. I'll just bring the tail stop back in. I have to move that to get a decent measurement. Right. see where we're at on that. Incidentally I'm using the same old tool actually. I said last time that I was going to use different tooling but this one suits my purpose quite well if I take light cuts on here. And also I forgot to add this collar. I've just broken the edge on that with a file. There's no need to use a, sh a tool for chamfering other than just the dear old file. So now we're going to see if we can get clearance here, find out what we've actually got on this boss area. All right, it's uh, plus 16, 16 thou plus at the moment. So we'll get that down and then do a final diameter cut. No, we've done that. Um, then we'll get the diameter cut on this section. We're right on the money there for the uh, for this distance. I'll do the same trick on this actually. I'm not going to use a tool to chamfer. I've got my setting here. I want to keep that so I'll just touch with the file. You've got a safe edge on this one. <coughs> it only needs the slightest touches there just to break that edge and that's, that'll work. So we've got to measure up how much uh, length we've got to cut this back and check the diameter. Basically same thing again here, Sharpie mark as a premature target prior to the final dimension. If you saw the last stage, when I was roughing this out, you probably remember I left a big plusage. I prefer to do that. Right, now we'll check the, see what length we've got, how much we've got left to remove. Yep, one, two, ten. That leaves us uh, about 19,000 to go, so I'll do that critical finish. We're down to length <clears throat> now on the uh, 3 8 section, which is still 7,000 plus, so we've got to just trim that off. Slightly heavier cut at the end because that's where we were doing the change in uh, this way. So let's see what we got. This is the light cut phase yet again. Uh, that only took about a thou off. So we'll take another two. <laughs> I 
on an old machine with backlash and stuff to contend with I find I've got to take it very very slow at the end plus the fact that it may be a little bit of polishing to finish on this right that's half a thou plus just check again All right, I uh, want to come back a thou just to get a little bit of clearance and in fact I'm going to polish that later. I can't be bothered with a half thou or so. Uh, <clears throat> it's too unreliable. So that'll be a polishing job once the keyways are cut. I've got to take 16 thou off and I'm going to leave the center out. I'm going to take light cuts. We should be able to away with it, all right? Let's see where that gets us. This is the uh, for a quarter thread, so this is not hyper tolerance. I'm just going to get this thread started. I got a very, very old chuck here, but it's got a nice flat face and it's just bigger than a Jacobs. So we'll try and get a couple of turns as I try and usually do to get to get square. Let's get a little bit more. See if we got enough. You notice that thread looks a bit flat on top because uh, <laughs> I took a little bit too much off. I've reached that stage where I'm trying to beat the clock, which is never a good thing when you're trying to be accurate. And uh, it's not a very generous thread, thank goodness it's only a retaining thread. Let's finish a cut on that. Mind you, this, this is the uh, die starting. What I usually do on a short thread is get it started and then turn it round. a little bit better it's still slightly under diameter but it will have to suffice I say it's a retaining thread so we'll manage I've just taken the nut off the compound to check that Yeah, that's all right. <clears throat> I have to admit to my mistakes when I make them. So I just got to shorten that down now and get a chamfer on the end and we're pretty much done. Well, I shortened that down, left it a bit longer than the original, left a chamfer on it that nut actually has got uh, very little slop in it and it's not going to be high torque because it's only the retainer so yeah a couple of boo-boos 
my little extra relief here which was unnecessary <laughs> and uh, slightly undersized thread never mind this old man's fallible right, the next step now is to see what we can do with the uh, keyways otherwise we're pretty much there uh, <laughs> I just had, had an amusing thought <laughs> that bit of over relief that I made there Oh well, that's there for a purpose, that's to hold lubricant. <laughs> Gee. If you believe that, you believe anything. Anyway, it's no big deal. So we'll, uh, we'll take this out of, the, out of the chuck. I thought the last shot was um, when I was on the tripod there. I was on auto, but I was still on manual. So anyway, here's, the, uh, here's that little boo-boo. There's the thread a little bit uh, lacking. Two black marks. Here's a test cut with the keyway cutter. I've gone down as pretty much the full depth, which was a plunge of about uh, 160 thou, I think. And I'm not sure whether the front to back distance is quite as much as on the original. Let's have a look. Well there's the test piece. A slight tool mark on the edge. That was just me setting up. As a matter of fact having gone full depth uh, to 160 the uh, length front to back is uh, two or three thou shy of what the other one was so I think the depth is going to be okay and it comes out of, as far as I can tell 937 which means it's slightly wider than the one in the original so we'll see how that works out in the end I can always use new woodruff keys and modify them slightly because the ones in the original here may be just a smidgen undersized <laughs> 